Hello everyone, welcome back to the Google Cloud Platform Tutorials and in this video we are going to work on loading data into Google Cloud SQL. In the first step, we are going to sign it into our Quick Labs account. Open the Google console with the given credentials, the username and the password. And now the first step that we are going to do is to activate our cloud shell. And we are going to run some of the commands that were given to us. Click on continue. We are going to give the first command which is tcloud auth list. In this command it helps to activate our account. In the next command we are going to use to get the project ID. And the next step is to clone the data science on Google Cloud repository. On the Google Cloud shell, we are going to give this command for the cloning of repository. And we need to change the directory of this. So we are giving this command The bucket is going to create here and now we are going to create a cloud SQL instance. And we are going to ignore this warning and it is usually takes some time to create an instance here. And you could see the instance is getting creating here. And as you could see, we have created an instance here. And moving to the next step. The next step, we are going to set a root password. Set the password with this particular command. The password is set here. And we have given the IP address also and we are going to give management access. Click on Y.
and this task has been completed. In order to get our IP address, we are going to run this particular command. Wait for this process to complete. And give and now give the command to get the IP address. We got an IP address here. Now we are going to create a table with the name of flights. And it is asking for the password and we are going to give the password here. As you could see, the password we have entered at, uh, as this. And we're going to check whether our task has been completed up till here or not. We have created a table with the name called flights and the next task that we are going to do is to connect to the MySQL. And it is asking for the password. We are going to provide the password. These are the queries that we are going to give in order to connect to the MySQL. And we have given a query in order to find a distinct flight date from the flights database but we couldn't able to find anything there that's the reason we got the output as empty set and up till here we have seen about loading data into google cloud sql and this is all about loading data so thank you for watching